Okay, a couple people asked about how do I control my light show from my iPad or from my iPhone. Um, how can I be sitting out in front of the house and actually starting a different uh, sequence or uh, running some various tests. And today I'm going to go ahead and show everybody uh, how to do that. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and on your computer, on your show computer, you're going to want to go to logmein.com. Um, this is uh, free. Uh, they'll let you uh, control up to 10 P uh, PCs or Macs uh, remotely. Um, so we'll go ahead and, you know, I can go ahead and say uh, log in, and then I can obviously say sign up, and then I can go ahead and sign up for an account. Um, if you're using the Pro, that, that's kind of handy to be able to access files. We're not really doing that, though. We're, we just want basic remote control uh, of our machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. So once you create your account, obviously, um, you're going to be doing this on your uh, on your machine that you uh, want to control. And then what you're going to do here is go ahead and say add computer. You're going to say free. You can try the, uh, the pro if you'd like, but I just use the free. Again, they'll let you do up to uh, 10 machines uh, on the account. It's kind of big. It's about 20 megs, so uh, this may take a sec to, uh, to actually load up. Okay, once the installation uh, is or installer is downloaded, uh, it's going to pop up here. Obviously, uh, yes, we're going to uh, agree to the uh, end user agreement. Uh, if you had this program installed once before, like I did, it's going to ask you this. Um, no, it's I, I already know, so I don't need to do an extra uninstall. I already did it. Just did it just for you guys. Okay, so then it's going to say, okay, this is the account that this uh, particular app came from. Uh, most of the time, typical uh, will be fine for just about anybody. I always select custom because I want to be able to change the description uh, because I do a lot of independent computer consulting work, so I need to be very careful with and make sure I can identify all the machines I interact with uh, later on. Proxy server mo d does not apply to most people. And then you go ahead and say install. So what you need to do is you need to install this, this app on the machine that you want to control. Then once you actually uh, have this installed, um, you know, here obviously there's a UAC. Once you have this installed, you can go ahead and go to another machine, uh, another computer, laptop, whatever, and go to logbean.com. You can control the machine that way. Or you can also get the app for the iPad or the iPhone, and they also have that available for the Droid side as well. So that way you can actually remote in and basically control the machine as if I was sitting right here behind the actual desk. So this gives you a lot of flexibility because then I can I can come down here and I can say go to the uh, control panel and I can go ahead and say uh, show on demand. I can also go into my uh, network preferences or uh, my uh, hardware as well. And I can do all kinds of other things I'll show you in a sec. So here my installation is successful. So the next thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you to go ahead and create some sort of a computer code. Uh, this is in case you have a uh, an account that does not have a password on it, it just logs you straight in, which is what a lot of people do, uh, especially with these machines. Um, it's a good idea to still have a, uh, some sort of a password, but if you don't, um, here is how you keep other people from uh, basically being able to use this software to be able to get into your computer. Uh, there's, it's Number one, it's associated to your account. Number two, if your account doesn't compromise, there's an extra layer of protection, which is this access code um, to access uh, the machine that you need to be able to have or be able to connect. Okay, then that's it. So here's the name of the computer, and then when you go ahead and close this, the this little icon, this little orb uh, with the little white dots is going to show up down here in your system tray. This is going to allow me to actually remote in and be able to control the computer. Okay, so on your device, um, this is a, an Apple iPad, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into the App Store. And I'm going to go ahead and do a search for log me in. I've already done the search though, so it's already come up. Um, you have two different uh, different apps here. And you know, log me in here is uh, this is the normal one. Uh, this is the free version. Uh, I actually have this one as well. It's the uh, professional. Costs like thirty dollars. That way I can transfer files from one machine to another through my pad without remoting in. We're not really interested in that. We're just looking at uh, being able to remote in and be able to control the show. So once you go ahead and download that, you can go ahead and open it up. 
with the account that you already created, you're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, it's going to prompt you for your username and password. I've already entered it in. Uh, and then, so now I'm going to go ahead and find my computer. A big list here again. I do computer consulting work here. So to go ahead and tap on this guy, and I can go ahead and remote it into my computer. Now that passcode that we typed in, um, this is where it's going to ask you for that. I've already had, uh, typed it in here and I've already saved it onto the app. So it just basically takes me straight into the machine. So now I have a, a mouse that I can use. I can go ahead and basically control the machine as if I was sitting directly in front of it. Okay, so why is this handy? Because I can go into stuff like LOR. I can go into say like the hardware. And then I can go ahead and say uh, console, now I can say all on, and I can go ahead and start running tests on my lights remotely, which is really handy because while you're actually deploying lights, if you needed to test out something independently or whatever, uh, for example, here's my 13 key keyboard, if I needed to verify that uh, key number two is actually where it's supposed to be, for example, there you go. So I can come out here and I can verify that I hooked this all up correctly and I'm doing this from the pad so that way you know, I can easily just go slide up and down, whatever, uh, using some of the features that, you know, the LOR has, but being remote in, inside the yard makes it really, really handy to be able to do. So, doing more tests as well. Now, the other part that once you have your show operational, why this is really handy is because, obviously, if I have remote control of the actual show, well, what else can I do with that? Well, I can also... I can go open up the control panel, and I can go ahead and do a show on demand. That's where this is really handy. So, I can go ahead and say show on demand. And so this is how I can actually start my show uh, remotely. So, for example, the first year I actually did this, um, I actually had um, a kid actually come up and actually click the button for me. And that was actually what started the actual show. So how you actually interface with this. Um, if you just tap on the screen, oh, this is for the iPad and I believe also for all the tablets. You just tap on the screen, it's just gonna move the mouse uh, and also a click. If you need to drag and move something around, it's gonna be a, uh, a tap hold. And now I can move, move a file around like that. Okay. Um, if you go ahead and do a, a double like this, then that's going to be the same as your right click. Now, if you do this through the through an iPhone, uh, it's a little bit different. What the iPhone does is it actually locks the cursor in the center of the screen, and then you, when you move around, it moves the, it moves the rest of it around for you. You still have your same gestures on your fingers, but the the actual cursor does not move around on the screen, and that ma maximizes the ability to be able to control the devices from the small screen of an iPhone, even though uh, it's obviously really tiny. You're not going to be able to fit the whole thing in there. So uh, at the same time, in case something is still kind of small, you can also have the ability to still do a pinch and zoom on here as well. So, and that is the app LogMeIn. There you go.